You know what? I was gonna do Lava and Tombs, but I found out that there's a lot of question marks on this map. Look at them all. I think we need to fill in these question marks. Welcome back to Eagle Island. Previously, I did the Labyrinthine Shrine, and this is back again? Seriously? I, I got rid of that. Aiming, what are you doing? At least I know how to fix it now. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, uh, previously we did the Labyrinthine Shrine. I exploded it, even though I didn't get any blessings from the bird gods. I wanted to do one of the dungeons down here, one of the... either the Story Tomb or the Story Lava Dungeon. But I found a map that shows me where all the dungeons are, and we got quite a few left. There's one here, for instance. Yeah, don't be fooled. Okay, I was fooled by that. But not up there. Hmm, this reminds me of Magus, actually. Oh, speaking of which, I'm still working on the Chrono Trigger endings. All I have is the new developer ending that the developer himself told me is in the game. I have to beat hard ocean palace Lavos, and I could get a brand new ending that wasn't in the original game. So I'm looking forward to that. This is an invisible wall puzzle. You have to be able to swim through invisible walls. I hate how some funky floating, but I'll take it. Anything over here? Ah, it's the level 2 um, upgraded version of the tomb level that we're going to check out later. So yeah, this puzzle this puzzle threw me for a loop for a little bit. I couldn't find that dungeon at first. That one was a little difficult. Well, at least we found secrets. There's also another question mark over here. Might as well get this one out of the way too. I think this is the regular tomb location. Yep. Even has a pipe leading to it. Explosion wall? Explosion walls, anybody? Nope, just empty. Also, uh, that area we were in before. This up here. They have to super jump your way into. Apparently there's another one around here somewhere? Or maybe it was just talking about this one here. I think it might be this one. The map one might be in the wrong spot, but we'll find that out later. I want to teleport to, um, up around in that area. Also, the lava area has some things connected to it, so maybe we should check out the lava area next. See what's hiding out in there. In those question mark spots. I could also do this puzzle over here, the one down there. Since I have the stratosphere upgrade. So obviously we got this. This probably leads to the main part of the island. I see that explodable wall. Can't fool me. Yeah, we could swim under this, but now we have a handy dandy shortcut to the regular part. There's also lava down there, and I'm gonna check out where the lava leads. Probably not the burning. Maybe. It can always lead to burning. That's what lava does, after all. It's just a liquid burn. Ah, there's the lava level. Surrounded by lava. Well, that's fun. I like the lighting. It's a little funky when you get really close to a lighting thing. And I kinda I kinda admire that. Certain kinds of lighting will do that. Some other kinds of lighting will not. We could head off in that direction, but down there. I can't even indicate it. But you know what I mean. That's where uh, the spider bite. You gotta get the spider bite coin so you get spider bite. The spider will bit you where the good lord split you. I can't stop thinking about that video. Someone needs to help me. I can't stop thinking about the spider bite. Now, how do I get up in there? It's not that way. There's no explodey walls. So I think we're gonna have to go up and around. Don't mind me. Just doing a little bit of exploring. I forget how the map was laid out. There might be a dungeon over there. I'm not quite sure what exploded. I think it was just a door reopening. It's over here. Yeah, I think there's... Yeah, we couldn't make this jump before. That's the problem. 
Okay, I don't know what was going on there. It was like Quill suddenly got really tall for some reason. Oh, this is where... Where is this? It wasn't that uh, place that we were just standing at when we were fighting Armora, right? I mean, this is... That would mean this is the Oracle's hut, and that's not the case. It's just an overlook. Don't worry about it. No, this is what we're, where we fought Armora the first time. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we lost in the first Armora fight, we would end up down there. That's what that's all about. I thought there was a secret, because you can't clear it from the other direction without a double jump. Might as well find our way to the closest checkpoint thing, and... I actually want to go to ice. I forgot about the, there's, a, there's a secondary ice dungeon. I should go do that one. How did I get up and around in this place? It's this way, right? We head up this way. Yeah, this is how we go. So we're heading back to Pinnacle Peak. There's another dungeon to do. This is a dungeon that took me a while to find because I didn't find the stratosphere at first. I did these dungeons way out of order. I also did them after I finished the game. Because there's a... You can explore and find all the secret areas on your own time. But I'm doing it now because I want all the power to kill Ornus with. All the shockwave bombs! So there's an area right above this one. You need the ice ability for it. The stratosphere. And you can just barely make it. It's time to enter ice area! Downhill thrill! That sounds like a Donkey Kong level. Lots of blues. Plenty of blue. More blue than you can handle. It's blue, da boo dee da boo die. I don't think there's gonna be many bugs here. Then again, there are those bugs that shoot the ice. So I'll take that. Don't need this anymore. I think we've seen all the confusion dungeons. No dash, no wall jump, no lightning powers. Well, it is the ice dungeon. Might as well use the ice axe. You try out the ice axe once I get some ammo, of course. Oh, look! Yep, bugs are here. And I have tailwinds, so Ichiro goes extra far. Which makes it harder to aim for something after you miss. Luckily, with Bolster Bug, I could get a heart off of every single bug. Need those seeds. Well, I, no, I don't, actually. I need the coins more than the seeds, really. Oh, great. This is gonna be another hell ice dungeon, isn't it? This is gonna be another helly ice dungeon. And this time it's gonna be a labyrinth, and looks like it's gonna be very vertical. It's called Downhill Thrill, and we have nothing but uphill. Look at all this. You can go so many directions. How's the itch gonna help me here? I don't have this many sections on my back. Let's try this direction. I see those mole guys already. Those fair attacks. There they are. I'll take care of you and your rocks. I'm trying to avoid ice spikes. All the ice spikes. Somehow I think I'm gonna avoid this ice spike. There's another spark shield. Hold on to it for later. Yes, I understand. There's hazards down there. They're kind of dangerous, aren't they? Well, that was a dead end. Might as well just check our room until we find something. Because we need it. It's another magpie. And that guy. And that jerk. Shockwave bomb? Oh, triple jump. I'll take a triple jump. Yeah! Triple jump is in the cards today. Especially with all this verticality going on. I'll try this way first. Okay, we gotta stop with the ferrets. We gotta stop with the ferrets. I will make the ferrets stop. Moving, that is. Standing up right above them is a good way to go. 
Having bolster bug with all these insects around is also a pretty good way to go. I made a good call on taking that with me. Okay, did you just see that? That's not how Sudoku works. That's not how Sudoku works at all. He, he died from the spike by underneath it. If some more enemies could do that, that would be great. Stupid bugs and are getting in my way. Explode! Stop shooting ice at me! I somehow cannot handle that. Let's see what we got here. I see coyote time here. Might as well try it out! Ah, I got heart, and I also i am not using axe as much as I should use axe. I need the miss to use the axe. There you go. So it requires you to miss with an ice attack to be able to hit something with an axe, so... Being accurate is not a great way to use the axe, sadly. Also, I'm out of bolster bug. This will cause problems. I gotta stop being reckless. Okay. Anybody see a shockwave? Is that the coyote time? Or am I just attacking too fast? Well, we have Bully. We can knock currency out of people. I'll hold on to it. That's coyote time. There's nothing there to slow down, therefore it didn't slow down anything. And we're back to this junk again. Yeah, it really doesn't slow down time as much as I thought it would. Yeah, just a little bit of slowdown. That's a lot of seed right there. Thank you for that. Me, I'm looking for the usual. Purple rooms. Good magpies that have, like, shockwave bombs and bolster bugs. Bolster bug would be good here. I like that animation when Quill slides on ice. Okay, it's a good thing I had invincibility there. I jumped right into that projectile. Secret? No secret. I don't like that plant. That plant's gotta go. He shoots too often. Way too often. These bugs are coming right for me. I had to defend myself. The only way I know how. By throwing an owl. That's how you fight in this game. Did you not realize that by now? Ah, purple room. Okay, maybe not purple room. It's a good thing I have fire here. It's a good thing I have ice here. For this guy. Hit him. Thank you. This room is completely ice! That's gonna make things hairy. And uncomfortable. Which is usually the case, especially in the summer. Being hairy... and uncomfortable. Maybe I should have hit up that checkpoint before going in here. That would have been a good idea. Let's spin the Wheel of Runes. I kind of don't like that one anymore. I like the one with the seeking projectile. That might come in handy, though. Ah, oh, we have to go back. We have to go back. Go back where? I don't know. I know I can't backtrack from here. So let's load up again. I don't want to waste the grand prize. Mm. I had a hiccup there. A hiccup and a burp all at the same time while I was talking. What I meant to say is I don't want to waste the grand prize. But hey, you, you know, at least we know where most of these uh, side passages go, which means I could hunt for a secret room. Maybe some more magpies. Maybe one of them will have a shockwave bomb. That seems to be the habit with them. I am an accuracy master! Until then. And, and that. Alright, what do you got? Better be something amazing for 18 seed. It's not amazing, but I'll try it. So we haven't used a lot of the dash abilities to, like, fight. And this one will let me explode. Maybe that's in my favor. That could work. I think I had immunity during all that. I think I hit a projectile during that dash. Maybe I'm underestimating the power of a dash attack. 
Wow, that, that's actually surprisingly effective. I learned a new way to explode today. This is a big room with seemingly nothing in it. Except for ice, of course. I wanted to use the, the Magira feather, but the dash attack. But I didn't have it. I forgot it uses up two mana rocks when you do that every time. But, you know, it could be effective. Here we go, the secret room. Mission accomplished. I found the secret room and the purple room. But I need to go back to the purple room. At least I know how dash attack works now. Ah... Yeah, sure, even though it's kind of my bane. When I miss, it, it kind of hurts to have Tailwind. Because it just takes longer for him to come back. Now, combine it with that ability that makes recovery faster when you miss a target, it's pretty good. But otherwise... Alright, maybe I'm gonna hit this checkpoint first. I'll hit the checkpoint first. That's not the way I wanted to dash. That's surprisingly effective! I am astonished! The dash attacks are worth something. At least the fire one. Speaking of quick recover... There's also a lightning bolt here, but I think we saw that before. There's also Cuckoo. And a heart. I got killed last time. At least this time I have a checkpoint. I'm gonna do this purple one again. I can employ my new ability of dashing, and also getting free combos off of that guy by freezing him. Thanks, Cuckoo! He's my very best friend. Well, I just said F you to that room. Yeah, the heck with that room at all. It's gonna be hard to get combos when I'm sliding all over the place. And we got these. And that guy. That's a black one. I think this is the one with extra health. Yeah, that's the one with extra health. He took he took three shots and he didn't explode. So it wasn't pink ones after all. They're affected by ice physics too. Yes! Kill them all, Cuckoo! That was satisfying. I entered this room just in time. Ah, uh, what should go? Tailwind should go. Well, at least we got the purple room. There's not many... Well, to be honest, there is quite a few thrills in this downhill, but there hasn't been a lot of downhill yet. We've been mostly been going up. I wonder why they call it the downhill thrill. I mean, in the jungle japes, at least you had jungles and you had japes. And, uh, I'm trying to remember another Donkey Kong level name. Minecart Mayhem? Oh wait, no, that's a level in this game, ain't it? Oh well. Alright, someone needs to get Dash Attack exploded. I'm kinda liking that. That's good. I give that one a thumbs up. If I had them. I think that extra explode gives me extra distance on the fire thing, too. Like, this wouldn't reach as far if I didn't have that fire thing equipped. Also, we got a lot of these. I'm enjoying the invincibility frames I get from uh, doing this. But I also have to be careful with my aim. Okay, these guys just gotta stop. But a couple of jokesters. More than a couple of jokesters. Mike by help me. Send your family to destroy them! Hmm, Ice Sphere. I haven't been using the Ice Sphere. I used the Ice Axe this time around. Yeah, you got exploded. Hmm, this, this is a new element. There's a house here. Oh, so that's why they call it the Downhill Thrill. Oh, oh there's hazards on this course. Gotta be careful. You don't want to hit any spikes. You don't want to get shot by plants, either. Yeah, it's kind of like that... I've, I think I've seen a Mega Man level like this. And a Yoshi level, actually. And a Sonic level. 
cannot go fast on this. Okay, I see some runes in there that I don't know what they are, and I kind of want to win them. Ah, I missed it. Give me one more chance. Ah, I missed it. Those, they, they look explodey. I want them. Well, the fun part is that we get to do that, that snowboarding section again. Except this time I have to fight my way there without any explosion power. I don't got it. Stop shooting your icicles right at Ichiro. Neither of us are happy about that. Those bugs... These bugs go right to me. They're just coming right at me. And I don't like it. Maybe I should just, like, say the heck with this room. No, how about I don't say the heck with this room? I'm gonna deal with that room, and then we could get back to the snowboarding. How about? Alright, snowboarding time! Let's try to die a little bit less. These downhill thrills are very downhilly. Also, you got momentum. So you can't stop in midair like you do before. It's a, it's a completely different play style. Also, I got the ice thing. So I can get a shield when I hit an enemy with ice. That might be helpful. There we go. That's the refractive sphere. That'll uh, keep me getting hit from everything. At least for a little while. It does go away after a while. Of course. Yeah, it's a lot more fun when I'm not dying. Yeah! Keep an eye out for the traps! Do not get hit by the bugs. Do not die. Alright, that was pretty fun. I appreciate all the little mechanics in this game. Even for different levels, to keep them from getting too stale. Because, of course, it's procedurally generated. You're going to get chunks of level they are going to look some very similar. Let's see what we got for our prize. I got Ghost. And it is also volcanic and icicles. If I'm going to use ice, I might as well use icicles as well. Can't afford the heart, though, but at least we got a checkpoint. So, alas, no more snowboarding for us. Yep, I'm just completely invincible while I have this thing up. Let's cause some mayhem. Icicles all over the place. I don't even know what was going on there. I'm just... Ungo bunga at this point. I'm pretty sure some icy enemies fell onto other enemies and killed themselves. Which is great. Like that there. It was a style shot and I couldn't even appreciate it. I bet that was fun to watch. Now we just need to find an enemy. An icy enemy. You cannot touch me! I have ice powers! And I can keep on filling that up by just collecting the mana rocks for my combo situation. I could stay invincible for a long time. I could even switch forms and I still have the shield for a little bit. That's pretty good. That's some pretty good stuff going on right there. How are you going underwater like that? Bug, stop it. Get back up here. You're violating biological law. I think. Maybe. I don't think flying bugs should be allowed to swim. It'll mess with their wing powder or something, because they can't fly like birds. I mean, look at him. He's perfectly fine with it. Oh, I lost my ancient coin again! I gotta go back and get that. That's important. Where did I leave my checkpoint? Back this way, isn't it? Alright, uh, yeah, I, I gotta go back and get that ancient coin. I forgot I lost it when I died. I was too busy doing snowboarding. I'll be right back. You know what? I just realized I can't go back because this door locks on me. It's part of the checkpoint system. I'll come back and get it on the off screen. At least I know where it is now. It'll be pretty easy. I already acquired it on camera. That counts for the internet. Alas, it doesn't count for this game. 
So we need to find a boss room in this heat forsaken place. Kinda appreciate it, considering the summer we've been having so far. Once it becomes 90 degrees, the chocobo starts melting. And he gets all dramatic about it by saying melting. I appreciate the flame strike, but I want icy power. It's the ice I want. The ice is nice. Except for this ice. Except for just pretty much everything that's going on here. It's just... I do not goose that. I do not goose to this. I do not appreciate. This is what happens when I don't appreciate things. It gets frozen. And then it dies. While I am invincible the entire time. I like how the ice attack now has like a little freezing field, so even if it misses, it still hits. I appreciate that too. Alright, where is there else to go? There? It's the only place it could possibly be, is there. I certainly can't go backwards. This is not it. I am lost in the mountains again. This level seems to have that quality, too. Make Armor Chocobo get lost. Dungeon room's gotta be somewhere around here. The dungeon boss. I bet it's gonna be Gemini's, considering this is the mountain ice level. I actually appreciate the mushrooms instead of those fair attack guys, because the fair attack guys are just cowards. I don't like them. Let's get icy! How did I miss that one? How did I miss this here? There's so many things flying around! Like this. This is what I want to have happen. Stuff like that. At last, I do not have any more mana rocks for the boss fight, but this is Gemini's again. A two-star Gemini's. Try to avoid their ice attacks and hope you get a combo. Easier said than done, considering how they fly around like that. Get away from me. Shoo. You make the Lord very nervous. You too. You don't want to get hit by the ice attack, whatever you do. That'll slow you up like crazy. Also, their heads are kind of immune. You don't want to be going for headshots. Don't swoop at me like that. You should be near death. So we have to deal with this one. I was afraid he was going to hit me with that. I'm kind of hiding out right here. Are you going to come down and fight me? Anybody? Ah, I didn't mean like that. Ooh, I see a shockwave bomb in there. Maybe I could win me a shockwave bomb and make this boss a complete chump. Darn, I missed it. Yes! Oh, they are going to regret. I am going to make them regret. I know where the boss room is now. Oh, they are so in for it now. I took that shockwave bomb I won, and I added a regenerate, so I'm constantly making mana rock stones. And I'm going to just blow this boss up. It doesn't matter where they go. They're going to get hit by it. You can't stop me, man. Sadly, if it hits their head, it doesn't work as well. I mean, they're afraid to get close now. Welcome to Bomb Central. Ah, how did that not work? Well, that plan didn't work. No, it did not. This dungeon's hard. You get a Gemini, get a whole bunch of enemies in between the room and the checkpoint. This, this one's not kind. This area is not kind. It's very extreme. So I'm gonna have to fight these guys the old-fashioned way. As you can tell, I have a lot of uh, defensive items this time. I have the extra heart. I have the, the ice shield if I need it. 
have the ghost in case I need to like throw through the terrain or something. I'm just gonna have to go on my wiles here. I'm gonna need my wiles. I'm gonna need to stop making risks like that there. He almost breathed ice at me. Okay, ice shield. Ice shield requires me to actually hit my target. And apparently ice does slow them down. At least for a little bit. More importantly, it gives me the shield. Which is important. Especially when they try swooping like that. This is the problem I had with the Gemini's before when I died a few times on that other dungeon. That right there. Them not cooperating. I didn't have Shockwave Bomb back then, but it looks like Shockwave Bomb doesn't work on those guys too well. The heck is that thing? It's a runestone slot! Now we can carry even more runestones! I died a whole bunch. Yes, I know. I understand. I need to go back to this dungeon and get that ancient coin. And improve that ranking. I'm not okay with C after all. Alright, that was an extra long one because I died a whole bunch. I challenged a challenging level, and I got challenged for it. Next time on Eagle Island, let's do another plot dungeon. I'm feeling lava. After all this ice, I'm gonna need lava. So I'm gonna work my way to the lava dungeon. Good night, folks. <laughs>